Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial I will show you how you can move different things around game objects by pressing on them you will have an X, Y and Z coordinate you can type in a value press move and it will move if you choose different ones and you hit in some other numbers and move everyone will move to that position so you can single move or you can move uh, more game objects at once and as you can see already something has been set up here and that's because this is a uh, part two and uh, for part one i will leave uh, a link in the description in part one we are making these buttons and uh, instantiate uh, the different game objects yeah so let's get to it So the first thing that we'll do is to set up the UI and in the UI I have created a empty game object underneath the can canvas. Underneath that one we create an image and this one will be our background. Like this. And underneath the background, in my case, so it's easier to see, I have created three texts. One with the X, one with Y, and one with Z. Let me zoom in here. Then I have created three uh, input fields. Like if you right click UI, input field, and I have used TextMess Pro. You can use the normal ones as well, but I recommend this one because the letters is much more smooth. If it's the first time that you're using it, it will, it will ask you to install it. Uh, it will take a, a minute or two. When you have added these three, scale them so they fit your needs. Remember to highlight all three of them over here to the right. In the content type, choose decimal number. And then you need to make a button called move. And this is simply just a UI TextMess Pro button. And here you will just scale it as you need. In the text, I have just set it to move. Yeah, now let's open up the code again. So here you can see, this is uh, what I had in uh, the first tool. And the other things here is the things I have added for this one. First of all, we will need a, a reference to our panel. Then we need a vector free for our new position when we press the move where it should go to. And then we need a float value. For all the three, let's do this. We need a float value for this one, for this one, and for this one. And to get a reference to these three, we will need to make a public TMP input field. And when you use this, you will need to implement using TM Pro. And we need one for the X value, for the Y value, and for the Z value. After that, we will need to create a list. And it will be a public list with the different targets. When we have done that in the start function, we will set our X, Y, and Z panel to false. So when we start the game, the panel will, will be hidden. Our input text, we will set to 0, 0.0 to string. When we start the game, we'll do that for the X, Y, and Z. In our update, our X position, that is our float value up here, we will set it to float.pass and the input text.text and this will 
what this means is that it will convert the text field to a float. So in this, with this code, we can take this input field here, as you see here, and convert it to a float that we will, that's why we'll use the exposition here, the float. We will do that for all the three, for the X, for the Y, and for the set in the update. Now, if we go down to our instantiate uh, function, in here we will need to make some small changes. We will need to in the if physic that waycasts. So if we hit something, we will need to check if the hit dot collider dot gamerbig dot tag is ground. Then we need to instantiate the target as we did in tutorial one. But if we hit a tag called object, we will create that tag here in a second. Then we will open up the panel. So set the X, Y and Z panel to true again. And then we will add that target to our list. And that's what we do here. The target, you can see here, we created a list here with targets. And here we can say targets.add. What do we want to add to the list? The thing we hit, we collide with it, and the game object. So that game object we will add to the list. Now in the, our move function, we will uh, need to create everything uh, new here. Because now we need a for each loop. Because now we need to go into the list and look how many targets, uh, yeah, look at the targets we have. So for each target, we have in the target list, that target transform position, we need to give it a new position. And that new position is our X position, Y position and Z position. So the three values we are typing in here. And after that, we need to clear the target. If you don't clear the target, uh, the target list, it will simply just uh, the all, every time you click a target, it will it will stay in the list. So when you hit the uh, the move button next time, every every game object in that list will move. So now you clear it. So every time you hit move, the list will be empty, and then you can click on. Yeah, you, the next target that you want to move. Yeah, let's save that and then go back to Unity. In Unity, we will have to take the ground. In tag, go add tag. Make one for ground and make one for object. Now go back to the ground and then take the tag and add ground. The instantiated uh, objects we have here, in my case, we did it with the cube and we did it with the sapphire into tool one. If you take these, you need to add the tag object or whatever fits your, your game. And these tags are the one we're using here. If it's ground or if it's object, remember these two need to be exactly the same. And it is case sensitive. When that is done, then I can show you here. If I take the ground now, let's do this and hit play. Over here to the right. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention that when the script has compiled, you can see you got some new input fields here. And here you'll have to drag your input fields into the X and to the Y and to the Z. That's everything you have to do. So now if you hit the play button. And let's make some cubes. Let's make some uh, sapphires. You can see here, this is the list, nothing happens. But now when I press the cube, it's added to the list. 
this sapphire, add it to the list, add it to the list, add it to the list. Now let's make three, two, and seven. Move everything, move to that position, and the list is clear. So now you can choose this one and say five or four, three, four, move. And it's clear, clear again. And you can do it with a single target as well if that is needed. Move. Yeah, that was uh, what I had to show you in uh, this tool. I really hope it, uh, it helped you out. And thanks a lot for watching. And uh, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Yeah, see you next time.